previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Beep boop beep. Eat this bitch. Boom. Die, Arnold. Die. Let me touch you, Ryoko. You're so cute. Stupid pervy Arnold bots. And now back to the f is this? The f was that? The f are you? Ah! Hello. Sneaky B. Back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Yes, I know today is supposed to be the start of a new series, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to play some more 13 Sentinels, okay? I just really want to continue with this game. I'm enjoying it too much. It's this fault bring too good. How dare it? How fucking dare it? Also, I just unlocked Takatoshi, and I want to see what the fuck's going on with him, because I feel like I haven't seen him in 30 years. So I'm really sorry, but I'm also not sorry. I want this game so fucking demon much. But when we last left off, uh, we got Ryoko's ending, and it was holy shit freaking sad. Damn. I, and I love, again, the game just subvert our expectations, right? You, you feel like, oh, I get it. They're like messing with her memories to get her into the fucking machine, right? Some like Evangelion bullshit or something. But no, it's really that they're trying to like, they're trying to get the password from her, but they're also just trying to make sure she doesn't completely break down uh, and as she's trying to forget all of these terrible memories. And in the end, she ends up forgetting most of it, even her own name, but she seems to be at least at peace, but it's still just really fucking sad. Like all she knows and all she has left now is fighting in the Sentinel. But then, you know, once this is all over, assuming we managed to not die, like what happens to her then like what do we do can we like restore her memories from like the backup in sector zero or whatever the hell that's about it was definitely rough holy shit that one that ending was a gut punch right to your fucking feels and not just that though we also finally learned what tetsuya ida's true motivations in all of this is and that he is in fact just the biggest simp there ever fucking was so big that he's willing to sacrifice all of fucking humanity just to get his wafu back and I think someone who put it the best was uh, Jean-Philippe, who uh, last episode said, uh, let me tell you about Tetsuya Ida, the man who tried to reset the world because his wafu became a vocaloid. <laughs> yes, John, yes. That is the perfect synopsis for uh, Tetsuya Ida's character. He's like, God damn it. I will murder everyone in this fucking planet if I have to. Also, I can fuck this girl. I'm going to put her back in the body and then we're going to go out. Even though I'm like probably like 60 years old by the time that happens and she's still in high school. Whatever. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? Tetsuya is just so fucking horny, okay? He can't help it. Oda ain't got shit on him, man. He, he's sipping even harder. He's like, I will, I will literally destroy this whole fucking planet if I have to. Or this not planet, the space station or whatever we're on. So I can just put her brain back into her other body and not have her feel bad about it. Or have her give him shit about it. Oh, fuck, dude. Bajan, thank you so much for your hilariously accurate comment. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. Yeah, good Lord, man. Oh, Ryoka's ending was pretty rough, but it was nice actually finally getting to see now. Okay, Tetsuya Ida's motivations. We have finally got that. We got it down. Uh, now we really have to get Murimura, right? And it seems like Murimura in her own way, just based on what her uh, discussions with Juro Izumi, like when she was like, I'm doing this for both of us. Like, seems like she is trying to save both herself and Izumi. One thing I am sort of curious about and sort of hit me, if the Sector Zero is like the center of this big, you guys actually said it's probably more like a Sakura petal or Sakura flower, the, si the, the shape of the ship, which it also kind of coincides with the name of the school, which is Sakura High School, right? If the center of it really is Sector Zero and they're seemingly escaping the destruction of the world and then hopping back in, why aren't they escaping there? Is there some limitation? Like they can get out, but they're still like stuck in Sector Zero and can't like move outside the ship or something? Like seemingly, if this idea of what I'm thinking is correct, there's a planet, they're just going around in circles, right? They're orbiting right now. And there's literally a planet that they could inhabit right outside. They just gotta get the fuck off the ship. Find a spaceship, I don't know. Or just use the Sentinels. This can clearly go into space. I don't know, there's still a lot of questions we have. And I, I still wanna know exactly what Murimura, like what her intentions are, what is happened with her. And I probably will get some of that with honestly Yori's story, which I also have not been to in quite a while. Um, but I just unlocked Takatoshi and I want to get back to him. All right. It's been freaking forever. And he clearly has a lot of the dank lore. He's just hanging out with Okino all the time. Um, so while chasing Tsukasa Okino, Takatoshi Hijiyama is reunited with Megumi Yakushiji at the school. He recalled being shot for seemingly no reason by the one who blessed him with Yakisoba Pond. 
And then later he gets shot again. Or maybe it was before this. I, I don't know. But, uh, all right, man. Sure. Sure. Takatoji and his Saki Yakisobi Pawn Adventures. That is his mission in life. I should head to school. My Yaki Silva Pond's waiting. <laughs> it really oh, is. Wait, that's not the point. Can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. And fuck him. I mean, no, that's not it right either. Damn it. I'm all fucked up. Oh, I love it so much. If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. I'm going to dress Akino in a cat outfit, and we're going to do dirty things together. No, damn it. Ah. All right. Let's go. Manly run. Now, where is Okino? Uh, not in here. Oh, oh God. Just another student, but she's so pale and covered in bandages. I wonder if at this point, like, so, I, you know, talk to she stuff, I think is happening a fair amount later. I think. So would this be after pawn induced memory? Okay, so that, that's when you remember this. So preserving memories, where would that take place where Ryoko is? I, actually, I don't know. I think she's only lost her memories at the very end of her story, which is near when the she has to fight, right? So it's probably still before this. Actually, no, it happens. I mean, it happens a bit later. Um, Shattered memories with no way to left to remove. Murray Murray gives up, gives up on the Sentinels right here. This is that moment. Yeah, his, it, yeah, it definitely happens a bit before that, right around this point. In the tree shade, she looked more ghost than girl. <sighs> She's no ghost, but she is hauntingly beautiful. Damn, talk is supposed to get fucking laid. As long as I've gotten this close already. Maybe. No, 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 no. I'm gonna ask her out. This is not the time. Yes, it is. Hey, baby. Um. Uh huh. Is this cheating? No, of course. We're making not. grunting sounds at each other. Why would it be? Hoki knows a man anyway. Yeah. If hypothetically I had fallen for him, it was when I believed him to be a girl. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> he just walked away. To that rascal Ogata too. Damn it. He even confessed his love. <laughs> Sorry, Okino. But you straight first. It's only fair. <laughs> and she's gone. Excuse me, miss. Ah. Uh, oh. Damn it, Toxic was about to score too. No, get back. Oh, poor horny Takatoshi. Uh, the schoolyard to the school break area. Let's go to the break area. That's where I, that's where I always see Okino lately. Next to that fucking vending machine. Oh. Hey, Karabe kun Are we on for today? Uh, I got somewhere to be. Well, all right. Yo, what up? Want to talk? No. God dang it! Nobody wants to talk to dirty hobo Takatoshi. <sighs> I ain't got no money. Oh, okay. Schoolyard. <gasps> it's that funky cat. I know that cat. It's Okino's little friend again. Hello. I missed a kitty. I hate all of you. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat. And you start finding money everywhere. What? <gasps> what? Seriously? I mean, it's it's usually like a couple coins. 
still, so just lose change. Hmm. Huh? Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? It's like something that Akino's been doing? No, there wouldn't be any around here. So this is like his way of leaving uh oh I go to the cafeteria. Um leaving loose change for uh for Takatoshi. Go back, but oh let me go to the cafeteria. <gasps> Your finest Yakisobi pond, please. I don't have any money. No, damn it. I need money. To feed. Okay, gotta gotta go follow Mr. Kitty. Um go to the wooden wooden one. Damn it, I went too far. I don't think Mr. Kitty's gonna be in here. Hey, this back here? No? The hell? The hell? Where do I go? I've been everywhere. To fuck up? Like, what's going on? I'm confused. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Seriously, I, I, I've, I've been to every area. And there's no new things. The hell? Where do you want me to go, game? I can't find the cat and I can't find any money or do anything, seemingly. Do I have to, like, stand in a specific spot or something? What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. I've been everywhere. I'm so confused. I've literally been all around. I don't see anybody to interact with or to do anything with. I can only go to the Yakisoba pen. I'm guessing my goal is to get some money, but what the fuck? Why is this so confusing? I I have no idea what it wants me to do. Did I fuck up? Do I need to start this all over again and see if maybe if I go instead of going to the right, I'm just gonna go to the left where the cat went. I'm so confused. I have no idea what it wants me to do. Is there a path I'm missing somewhere? Seem like the only areas I can go to are it's like some hidden money or something like a something I got to pick up. Like I don't see the cat anywhere. Okay, I I had to look this shit up. I had to look up what the fuck it was. So apparently I have to go over where the cat was on this thing here and stand here and do. Oh my God. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, fuck you game. What the hell? Wait, was, is it, was it, wait a minute. Was it actually sparkling on the fucking ground like that? No way. I actually don't believe that. Let me see this. I'm actually starting this again. I want, it, was it actually sparkling on the ground? Or did it only start sparkling after I did that? Oh no, it was not. There is nothing on the ground there. You have to go and stand right where he is. Look, there's nothing here. And then you have to go stand and click this. Okay, that's, that's, that's the most bullshit one since the fucking Iori one. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? That one was ridiculous. I'm not surprised at all I didn't figure that one out. What the hell, developers? God, I have no idea what they were thinking with that one. They've just been like sporadic moments. It basically, it's basically th now this one and the Iori one where like the game just suddenly changes how it structures it. Like, all right, now you gotta, you gotta do this, like these a set of events in a specific order. And then this one is like, okay, now this one you gotta, the, the green thing that was new is gone, which makes you think, oh, there's nothing new in this area or anything new to interact with. No, even if it's already not green anymore, you got to go stand in that specific spot and then press it. What the fuck? I cannot be the only one who had a problem with that. I mean, according to this help page where I, which was like, literally I typed in 30 Sentinels change and it was like, did you mean loose change? And it immediately gave me it. I think I probably wasn't. Oh, Jesus. Yen coin. That's a lucky find. Like it would have been a lot less frustrating if if it made a very obvious sparkly spot there, which again it wasn't there. For how beautifully and wonderfully this game is has been crafted and put together, there are just like these random moments of like, what the fuck were they thinking? And thankfully, it's, at least so far, it's not story moments or even mostly gameplay moments. It's just like moments where like I want to move the story forward, but you got to do a weird thing in order for that to happen. You found the cat again? Yep. Hello, Kitty. Oh, that's... Okay, now I understand the rules of this game going. we're playing. That's a lucky find. Yeah, it's gotta be Okino leaving loose change for uh, for Takatoshi, which is kind of cute, you know? Going to all this trouble to make sure Takatoshi doesn't starve to death. Is that enough money to buy anything yet? Look at look into the vending machines. Wait, was that me or was that Takatoshi? Or, or, or uh, Okino. Is that enough? I, I don't even know how much these cost. I have 200 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Yes. Huzzah. Damn, these things are dirt cheap. 
Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Sobapon. I love you so much. Okay now. Time to dig in. Why he talks dirty to his fucking food? He's like, mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, eat that paper. Impossible. <laughs> He's like, ah. But of course it is. It's Yaki. Of course it is. I just orgasm. I love you so much, Yakisoba. Fuck me, Yakisoba. Take me, take me right here. Uh, okay, do I go back to the school building now, or? I don't see Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Hey! Isn't that one of the Sentinel scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. Uh-oh. Do we have a scene with this before? Like, was it like Miura that ran in here? What's was happening? This is a different uh, one. And he's... Before he lost his memory. You. You're the one from the shrine where we cross time. Right. That was your fault. You hopped in there. What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Oh, is this uh, the precursor to when they had to go in and try to fix up his memories? Or like, got a plan for how we're, they're going to back him up? Stop, plastic gizmo. You come here. What's Sentinel technology doing here? Get out of your turtle shell. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> He's like, no, don't touch me. How did you get here? I'll take a look. I'm gonna zap you. What is this? Oh. What were you thinking, Okino? Oh shit, here we go. This is gonna be, I bet, the one where you base the entire world around some game of, like, a game of kaiju or saving humanity or whatever. Oh shit, we see future Okino. What's wrong, Takatoshi? <gasps> Holy shit! What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonome found it. Daimos, really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? There it is. I'm just reusing the infrastructure. Environment management code. Relax. We're not going to get kaiju popping up. Still. <laughs> or are we? Hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Hold on. We're using the infrastructure environment management code of that simulation. God damn it, Okino! Why can't you just start from scratch? Fuck! Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? Oh, shit. The work's done. We fucked in the future, too. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out. As long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa. Hey, you're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. Oh, shit. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Professor Shinonome, huh? So Ryoko is a professor as well? Wait, did they say... Is that who they were saying before? Uh, or is that Murimura? They did. Professor Shinonome found it. Damn. It's interesting how this whole, like, seeming, seemingly this, like, fate thing, right? Of, like, we did this before, and now, again, it's like the same people, for the most part, kind of falling for each other once more. We're destined to be together. Thanks. I love you, Takatoshi. I love you too, baby cakes. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? Damn, I looked hot. But Okino and I were together in love. It's impossible. Stupid bot. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again. Oh, this isn't the same recording. Tsukasa. 
boss is dead. Fuck! The medical bio kits are no good to me now. So, I only got an hour or two left. Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. And Sukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... Fuck. No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. What the hell? Juro did? Huh? So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... <laughs> Project Ark actually goes through. If... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect them. <laughs> protect all my friends. <laughs> my friends. Fuck. Reborn. Dead. Okino was killed? What did I just see? Stop fucking with my brain, little robot. I'm not gonna pick you up now. Run. Run, Dr. Ocean. Find Okino. Do I have this pit in my stomach? Okino, where are you? Go, that got him out of here. Yeah. Oh. I brought him here. Looks like Okino's with him, too. He brought him here? Uh, oh, from the 1945. So he actually did that intentionally? Come here, girl. I mean, boy. Okino. Oh, good. You're safe. Hiji Yamakun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Embrace him! Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh, no, really. Maybe. Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. You! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. You die. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <sighs> Isn't that right? You've done really well, holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. <laughs> Please, help me. <laughs> oh god, here we go. I'm like, what? They're being very vague. Talk to her, she's gonna be pissed. Sure. 
since you finally asked nicely. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give you my D. Code. <laughs> you two don't tell me. You two are steady. Steady? <laughs> <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> God damn it, we're so fucking sudaric. Ah, 50% throat. It matters everything to me. Ooh. Juror Izumi 2188. When in a dispute over the remaining power supply escalates into a shootout, Izumi kills Tsukasa Okino. Following the Sijiyama, Okino's lover, avenges him by gunning down Izumi and his, and his cohorts. Fuck. Dispute over the remaining power supply. Damn. What the hell is going on? Takatoshi Hijiyama of 2188 was in a romantic relationship with Tsukasa Akino. He murders Juru Izumi to avenge Akino's death during the shootout in Sector 4, so in 1985. However, he was severely injured in the fray and succumbs to his wounds soon after. Benji Ogata. At an energy, dis at an energy dispute over Project Arc, Ogata revealed he come armed, which resulted in a shootout. In the ensuing chaos, Ogata was killed. Man, we all got fucked up. Oh, hey, I actually have to unlock this one to get Tsukasa Akino's. The Sugasa Kino of 2188 was in a romantic relationship with Takatoshi Jiyama. As a result of the shootout in Sector 4, he was shot and killed by Juri Izumi of that time period. The 2188 Akino is the genius engineer who created universal control. Ooh. However, he tends to cut corners in coding, which explains why he barred a portion of its environment code from the classic video game Mighty Kaiju Daimos. Ah, I see. Cuts corners. You know, I'm actually almost wondering if perhaps this person... Well... No, I don't know. That wouldn't make sense. I was going to say, maybe this person was the original, like, Professor Doji, right? Like, we still don't know who the hell that is. Kiriko Doji and Professor Doji. Who the fuck are they? I was thinking, well, maybe it's the 2188 version, but he's dead. I have no idea. It's like, we still haven't run into them yet, seemingly. Um, Shintaro. He often finds this change on the ground. Guessing, guess cats really do like shiny objects. Oh, that wasn't ok Okino's doing. Oh, okay. Thought it was. Uh, anything else? Oh, Colony and Satellite Orbit. A dispute over whether to allocate the remaining energy towards Project Arc. Oh, okay, okay, that's what it means. Allocate the energy towards Project Arc or life support led to a shootout resulting in seven deaths. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, that's interesting. So energy towards Project Arc, which is basically the, the future of humanity or life support, basically keeping the people that were currently there alive, more than likely. Live to protect, P must protect. Um, okay, that, so... Right after this scene is where A, with the pills starting to become ineffective, A, a, a Sekihara asks Tsukasa Kino to back up his own memory. So Kino then begins mapping Sekihara's brain. Gotcha. Okay, are we still in there or are we locked? Oh, we're still going. Okay, cool. Cool. Keep All it right. going. Can't stop this Yaki Soba Pine train. Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then... I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. <laughs> no, you are definitely not thinking straight. <laughs> Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? Come on, you just fuck already. That damn Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall... They said something about being reborn? Yes. Wonder how much uh, Okino knows about that, you know? It seems like Okino actually isn't aware of this not actually being time travel, though, right? I think he also actually believes it is. Just like a lot of us do. Doesn't seem like many people, except maybe like Tetsuya Ida, Murimura, and Izumi, actually know that this isn't really yeah. time travel. Where is Okino? All right, what are we doing today, Takatoshi? Same thing we do every day, Nico. Find a way to eat Yakisoba Pan and try to repress my gay thoughts for Okino. Uh. Oh. You're right on time. <laughs> like he was waving at him. Hey, over here. <laughs> Okino. Hey, baby. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura is wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. Got giant boobs. All I need is about 10 minutes. Hey. You're a lifesaver. 
Damn it! Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Where you at, girl? Hey, I'm random guy at the school, but doesn't go to the school. I steal people's clothes. We have a lot in common. That must be her. Oh gosh, she's with me, Miko. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. <laughs> I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Yeah, seriously, good lord. She's gonna react to me, be like, what the hell are you doing here? Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Hello, I'm from 2188, just like all of you. Uh, well, uh, I love you. There was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, uh, th th their leg's mostly fine, actually. <laughs> What's called ambulance? I'll go to my office and call them from there. Damn it. There's no cell phones here, is there? They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very scraped. They're on fire. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? <laughs> Shut up! I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Y yeah. Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. Uh, uh, chloroformer! Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna put you on this bench now. All right, I'm running away. Bye. Time for a retreat. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? Just let her keep talking. Run! <laughs> all right. We did good, Takatoshi. We, we stole her for all of 30 seconds. <gasps> Mr. Kitty! Mr. Kitty, you got some change for me? That's... Yeah, you do, Mr. Kitty. Mine. A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Shoo, I'm a Gucci, hanging out, not doing shit. I have 100 yen on me. I could get a canned soda. I have uh, sure. Oh, high C or uh, or high king or hey C. Let's get a let's get a milk king, baby, or milk coffee. Sounds good. Hey, pick me up. Yummy. All right. We're good. <gasps> More change. Okay. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. Reminisce. In the 1940s. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. What do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. I was like, what the fuck? The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms, those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2000 ton invincible iron giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleship's? 
Yeah, this would definitely have been uh, one hell of a thing to see in World War II. I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. From the gods themselves. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. The fuck is Professor Doji? And I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Hey, baby cakes. Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know... I'm just delivering documents on the professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well... The professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. Not nah, quite, Dr. Doshi. <sighs> Yo, what up? It can't be. It is. Uh-oh. If it isn't Keitaro in the flesh. He looks pissed. Who are you? What? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. Oh. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? I just didn't recognize him. He's like, he was like, oh, fuck. So he saw me. Uh, uh, it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. What's up, man? How you doing? So, when did you get here? Uh, scratch that. How did you get here? What's happened at home since I've been gone? Slow down. I can only answer one at a time. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> What? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and the Sarah's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. By the gods. Have we tried to act so Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yaki soba pawn. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you have <laughs> to try this yaki soba. Pawn. No, seriously. 
It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. <laughs> Mira, you're not fucking listening, right? It's the greatest thing on this fucking planet, okay? I would die for yakisoba pot. I am yakisoba pot's biggest sip. Motherfucker, I will sacrifice this entire planet if I have to save yakisoba pot. Talk to she calm down, calm down. God, have you lost your mind? And also, you're wrong. The greatest food on this planet is actually hamburger. Your hamburger can eat shit. It's yakisoba pot all the way. Hamburger, yakisoba, hamburger, ah! We just start wrestling with each other. Like, ah! The old kid comes in. What the fuck, guys? God! Gone for five minutes! Jesus! Also, way to distract Murray Murrah, Takatoshi! I got caught, now I'm going to jail! Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any hamburger? Oh my god! <laughs> what is this hamburger? What is this hamburger you speak of? I have reason to believe it's the greatest <laughs> culinary invention in history. Impossible. You overestimate your burger, my friend. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually happening. <laughs> you underestimate. Oh my god. Burger versus Yakisoba. Who will win and who will die? Who will leave in shame? Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing. Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war, just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place. I think it'd be better to show you instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... <laughs> So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Just to show you the truth. With your eyes unclouded by eight. Stop showing that fucking clock. What a lie. You lying sack of shit. Everywhere here. It's the same thing. Tamao-san's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. Hmm. Is Okino not even aware that we're not really on Earth right now either? Some of them are the size of the Sentinels. 
And those aren't even the biggest. What you're seeing is just a fraction of their forces. A unit of hundreds has already passed through here. Did these monsters eat everyone? They don't eat. The people have all been captured, thanks to a buried UFO. Well, a saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically to get in contact with its tech. Digging beneath us. I mean, if they are digging, but then what's actually beneath us? Is there really like a like a terminal beneath like every sector or something? That triggers the saucer shifter, which teleports civilians. Oh. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother. And to Mausan. Do they get transported to Earth or something, maybe? It's hard to imagine they'd all be transported to like that little section in the center of the of the ship. These things took them away? Wait. If the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be. It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean these are parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. You used to borrow Keitaro's science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Huh, interesting. Looks like Okino is starting to maybe put it together there at the end. He's like, it doesn't feel real. I, I am kind of wondering why these events for Takatushi were, were locked behind getting eight other people Right? Was it eight or was it six? I think it was... No, it was eight. Yeah. Because it's like eight, ten, and twelve right now. That's what I have. Eight, ten, and twelve, which is for Takatoshi, for somebody, and then for uh, Goto. Oh, it's A. That's right. I think it was A. Why was this one locked, though? Like, seriously. I mean, like, I'm not getting anything too, like, revelatory here. I just been like, holy shit, this is blowing my brain. I mean, we have that one scene with Takatoshi and Okino from 2188 and stuff, but we haven't really gotten... I mean, this is all fairly basic. It was just basically Takatoshi learning the truth about everything. So how long ago did that one scene happen? Yeah, Central number 19. So that was the one scene from 1944 I think we were missing. I, th I think we actually have all of them now. I think of all of the 1940 uh, 40 scenes now. Well, potentially. I guess we could still have a few scenes from like, you know, us coming back like we just did with Takatoshi and Okino, but... I think we have all the scenes now from, like, Kokino was still pretending to be Kiriko Doji and Takatoshi and Miura was still there. I was actually thinking perhaps that one scene there would actually be, like, Miura getting his surgery or something for his, uh, the implant in his, uh, in his head. Uh, Sons of the Motherland, destroyer of worlds. Okay, well, we, that is the event, though, to unlock, uh, the rest of Miura's event now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there anything else new? Sukasa Kino. Back in 1944, when Okino called himself Kiriko Doji, he operated on Takatoshi and Hijiyama and Kitar Miura to ensure their synchronicity or synchronicity with the Sentinels. In doing so, he implanted a linking component into their heads. Oh, so I guess Takatoshi has that too? I guess Takatoshi also has a scar on his head, but maybe we can't see it because of the hair. Though he's also been shot like 10 times since then, all right? So likely his uh, his new start button is in a different spot. Oh wait, <laughs> Yagi Soba got updated. Ichiyama claims that it's the most delicious food that this area has to offer. Oh, it's good. Sweet lore. I need that sweet yakisoba and lore. But more importantly, hamburger. Miura claims that it's the greatest culinary image in history. And they will duke it out in an epic battle. Okay. Um, I can still do Takatoshi. Yes. But this is the final one of Miura's. Yeah, it was A that had 10 and 12 for Goto. Man, Goto's bear comes some fucking insane revelations. Seriously, with it, for how many that... Are required to even just get past his, like, beyond just the prologue. Well, all right. I think it's time we see what happened with Miura here. So BJ's true identity was revealed to be Katara Miura from the previous world, claiming he'll be gone soon. BJ asked Miura to fulfill a promise. <sighs> Man, 
May 1985, clear skies. Judgment Day, sunset, time to make up my mind. Judgment Day. Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. Oh, all his other thoughts are gone. She's still family. Right, he also ran to his sister, who is now... Takatoshi-san. Somebody totally different. You actually showed up? Oh, I see. We, they wanted to show us the, the re reunion or, uh, between Takatoshi and Mira probably before this scene. That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah. The sentinel's inside that building. So this is Judgment Days. I mean, this is literally the day they're about to get attacked by the kaiju. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon, all this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san, if anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid. <sighs> Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. <sighs> and don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. <sighs> All right. Oh. I want you to show a little more spirit, Keitaro. Let's go. We're taking back our sentinel. That's what I want to hear. Oh shit! It's time! Time to summon it. Uh, there it is. Just how I remember it. Freeze! Freeze, motherfucker! Nina! Get butt. He's still alive. I'm using low power shots, but still. It feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. Damn, Tarkas, where'd you get that gun? I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early. To without your it. guns. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, what? She is? Are they here already? It seems like it's pretty chill right now. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all I, right? I guess I must be in another part of the city. You soon. It really is Judgment Day. All right, here we go. Activate. Pull that fucking hat off. BJ. A different me from a different time. According to him... I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. Oh, yeah! Fly, Mira! Sweet power! It worked. All right, no time to waste. Natsuno-san, can you hear me? Mira-kun, thank God. I thought it was all over. Just stay put. I'll be right there. Okay. I have to protect my family. And everyone I hold dear. Even if it costs me my life. Yeah, they the first battle was with them together, I believe. Is that it? Oh, really is it? Damn. Okay, well, he's ended up pretty simply overall. No mindfucks or crazy revelations. Really kind of jumped ahead in time, too. Yeah. Brothers in arms to protect all I hold dear. So we got the now the two next events after Juro Karabe. I wonder if we'll see uh, Minami when she activates her Sentinel. Or have we? No, we actually we already ended hers. Maybe we won't. Unless it was Yuki and no, because she wouldn't have done it with Yuki either. I don't know. Maybe it's possible just some of these characters we don't see. Oh wait, no, we already did see her summon her Sentinel. We did, but not before this fight. 
she summoned it to, to set up uh, her connection to it, right? She basically took uh, Mira's old Sentinel that belonged to BJ. So I guess we don't. We don't see her start her Sentinel before this final battle. God, there's still so many events after this, though. It makes me wonder when these are going to pop in. If at some point during the the destruction, they'll start happening, you know? Uh, anything new on this side? Guitar Mira. When the Kaiju appear in 1985, Mira takes back and activates Sentinel number 19 with the help of Fijiyama. At that moment, he decides that he will protect everyone. He holds dear, even if it costs him his life. I'm guessing right after that, probably Takatoshi summons his as well, all right? All right, let's continue with Takatoshi then. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... He's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? By punching shit, Takatoshi! So the That's what you do best! And eat yakisoba pot! And look for loose change. Now, where is Okino? They put a tracker on this boy. Oh shit! Go, go! Go, it's me! Takatoshi! Actually, I don't even know if we met yet. Goto? Go oh shit, Goto's looking at me! What are you doing? Stop running around me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Sir, please. Please, sir. Please, you're confusing me. I'm focusing on the plot. I have it all written down in my little book here. Sir. 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 Goto, one day, I'm gonna know what the fuck is going on with you, alright? We're gonna see you be Super Mondo Badass. I can't fucking wait. I wait so damn long. This game fucking blue ball me with its freaking prologue just a prologue hold it right there just the tip i mean what <laughs> stop right there in the name of goto you certainly don't take pride in your appearance that's all i have to wear i'm a dirty hobo do we really have students like you at our school i've never seen you around what school do you attend can't mind his own business punch him I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own Uh... Run. Not feeling great? That obvious. What happened? I looked at the wrong textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. Oh, damn, it sucks. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Holy shit, I'm getting the deets. I don't have any money. <laughs> Mr. Kitty. Change. Let's... Give me the money. I need some more yakisoba pan. Bro, that's all they sell at the school, too, anyway. Every day coin. is yakisoba pan day. Ah! That's a lucky find. Oh, wait. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. I found money. Please wait. Uh, really, it's all a misunderstanding. What? No. I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. What? I'm just picking money off the ground. Why is that such a big deal? Why is that a big deal? Want to buy a canned soda? Or want to save for yakisoba? I guess save for. Wait. Did this one highlight? No. Let me save for yakisoba. No, it's more important than Yagi Soba. Where's Mr. Kitty? There more loose change, Mr. Kitty? I swear to God, this fucking cat. Oh, there he is. Oh, God, he's right next to Goto. Don't mind me. Don't look at me. Don't you look at me. Oh, that's... Really? What exactly are you doing? <laughs> really? Jesus, Goto, don't you judge me. I'm gonna do it! Oh god damn it! Get the fuck out of here! I I need more for Yakisoba Pond. 
I think. Can I get 200 or? Fuck you. I gotta get this guy out of here. <gasps> Miwako! I just don't wanna miss this show. Miwako, get over there and distract him. Distract Goto. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, hold it right there. there. Meow, meow. Uh, <gasps> yes! Fan, you know? Miwako to save the day! Sorry. I remembered something what? I had. <laughs> you better run, Goto. That's right, motherfucker. He's gone. He goes like, no, I just want to love him. Goddamn, Miyuko. You and your thick and ridiculous. This chunky girls want some love. A hundred yen coin. Must be my lucky day. Fuck this. I don't know why anyone, why, like seriously, what the hell? Why is that a big deal? Is that like some like, is that a cultural Japanese thing or something to pick money off the ground? I feel like it must be like, that's like, I'm like, why is that weird? I can imagine any other person in America be like, there's somebody on the ground, sweet, grab it, pick it up. Must be like some cultural no-no or whatever. You're finally sorry, so much. Yes, sweetness. Can I take this with me? Can I like leave with my Ayaki Soba? Take it back to my place and make love to it? Oh, baby. Yes, I can. Let's go. Just you, me, you, me, about Yakisoba Pond. Is it still there? Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry for me. Oh, I'm sorry to make you, make you ask. I just want to do this in a, I just want to do this in a secluded place. Hope nobody's looking. Goto comes out. He's like, really? <gasps> what the hell? Goto, get out of here. Delicious. Oh, oh, oh Yakisoba orgasm. Oh, of course it is. Oh, it's the greatest day of my life. All right. Today's been a good day. Are we done? No? God damn it. Why is it, Doctor? Sometimes you, you run full ass sprint in this room, in this area. Other times you don't. Oh, I will say there's a lot of running back and forth with fucking Takatoshi here. Oh, am I getting more coins? Cool. I can get myself a drink now. Huh. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. I'll see you later. Get a soda. I got money. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Getting laid. Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? Here's your... Be a good boy and take this money. God damn, stop paying me off. I'm not your whore, Okino. Yes, you are. I shouldn't right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Pity money! Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. Yeah! I was gonna get a soda. I was thirsty. <gasps> More yaki soap hot! It's not enough. What the hell? How many? Oh my god! What? Well, I, I was like, why am I seeing yaki soap? Is the glitch happening? Oh my god! I bought all the yaki soap upon the capture. Oh my! Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> Wait. Yaki soba. Yaki soba. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is like Pac-Man. <laughs> can never have enough. Never enough yakisoba. If I eat all this, it's gonna be a t grand total of five yakisoba pond today, Takatoshi. This cannot be good for you. <clears throat> yeah, mm. oh yeah. Delicious. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, fucking Akino. You gonna stop me? I'm gonna stop me from eating my for your soba. Delicious. Yeah, ha. And I got another soda. Fuck yeah. Good day. 
Got me some purple Fanta. Something's going on with him. I can tell. Oh, that was interesting. She talked about Kino there. That's cool. Now what? Wait, am I buying another drink? <gasps> oh, I can't. Well, I got to wash all this yakisoba pot down, all right? Let's try Hey C now. What was Okino planning with that girl? God, talk. <sighs> Talk the majority of his route is just him just wanting so bad to fuck Okino and not coming to grips with it. He's like, no, I don't. Just do it, please. All right, let's get this one too. Dude, how much money did Okino give me? It feels like he's hiding something. Oh my god, he had another guy so bad. What the? Okay, that's your sixth one, Doctor. You need to stop. Oh no. What time is it? I don't feel so good, man. Over to Tokisaka Shrine. <laughs> it's like a, so he's draw fan art of just like Takatoshi getting his allowance from Okino. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. Okino comes back. He's got a fucking swimming pool of yaki so bad. He's just like, <laughs> or just a big pile of it. He's just like, he's doing angels in it. He's like, ah, this is the best day ever. It's the best day of my life. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. We'll wait here and confront them when they return. Yeah. What's doing with Kisaragi though? Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, this is before that scene. Before Juro finds, uh, Tamalbot in the trash. Oh, God. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but... I see how it is. Guys! Sweet Joro! I'm looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. We'll tango later. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh. Oh. You don't know either? Mm. Damn it, we suck. <laughs> Juro, did you find that you found the Tamalba, right? Do we pull it out and already look at it? I thought that happened. Didn't that happen in this event? There's like a point where we actually like pulled that out. Looks inside where he discovers an android that looks like Tamal Karabe. I can't. Did the other see it? Actually, I'm kind of curious. I just want to see where did where did the scene end? They do. Uh, they do. They definitely do, yeah. We just skipped over that scene in uh, in his. Interesting, okay. I guess we're just ignoring that now. We're like, ah, fuck it, whatever. Put her back in the trash and let's, <laughs> let's, hey, let's stake out by the fucking time travel thing. Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. It's the best one. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. Where'd Juro go? God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. 
Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. Okay, I guess he's gone. I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. Join the club! So, this girl, Kisaragi. What kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Maybe you're not as gay as I thought you were! Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. Huh, I wonder if this scene's gonna show up in Kisaragi's route, maybe. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Aha! It was me! Tired Oshi! Oh, you know. Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! <laughs> Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, shut up. I love you, girl. Come over here and make out. Don't tell me. Are you a little jealous? That's totally it, right? Please, get jealous over you. <laughs> is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just... <laughs> both both Neji and Takashi are the most scenario for your character, swear to God. I was just worried about you, that's all. You went to that underground place, right? Well, well, the androids were all broken anyway. I mean, heck, if something had happened to you. Moron. Uh, I want to know how to save everyone. If there's a way, then tell me. Please. I understand. I'm doing my best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. Okay. Take me home, please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Go hang out with my girl, okay? Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. What? That's where it all starts. The Tower of Knowledge and the UFO? What the hell? What is this? I told you about this before. We're inside the buried UFO. So this was built by humans from the future? Or something. Or extraterrestrials, potentially. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. What are these robots doing here? The saucer. Around 30 kilometers in diameter. No. That's gigantic. No, we're misinterpreting this. We're misinterpreting this. We are the saucer. Literally, this entire city is the saucer. This is literally the, the part of the ship, right? This entire area is the saucer. That's what this map is showing us. So you see the saucer of this this cut piece of city we've we've taken, right? We basically just cut out this piece and made it into a city. I think I think this map overlay is meant to show like like this is the area that we're gonna take and make into a reality, right? But just this circular 30 kilometer diameter 
section, right? So then where are we though? Is this like the control hub for this sector then? I kind of thought this would be, this was like the center of the ship, but maybe not. What is this? Androids. They were protecting this place. Androids? Mechanized dolls, I guess. They're all broken anyway. <sighs> It's the same here. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah, we don't really know what is up with the androids. Like, do they get infected by the decode and are helping attack as well? Helping the kaiju, that is. Do we actually see these guys get shot? I don't actually know. I don't know. I think Tetsuya Ida came here. It kind of depends when this happened. Was this before the Ida event or after? Because we did do it in this area. So this is what the Daimos have been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Okay, that's what, that must be what this is then. This this actually must be... Maybe it really is buried beneath uh, the city. But it's literally... It, it's the, the control panels, like the entire city, is I, I believe is what this is. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. I see. So all the other ones are, are basically destroyed or n no longer... We're not actually even able to go to them anymore. What's wrong? 1985. Even assuming it's a parallel world, something isn't right. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. 40-year gaps going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp, especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. Right. In other words, That'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. And that's in Minami, and I actually just kind of realized we have, still haven't gotten really a conclusion to that... to that plot line yet, have we? That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Okay, so they, they need... that's... okay. It's because Minami was here with it, and they can't... they don't want to destroy the commander, right? Because the commander is the one that's calling them, so they saved this one for last. Was it Juro, though, in the Kishiragi bot that gave this code? This made Manami the commander when he shot her in the bathroom, the girl's bathroom? But why would he do that? Is, it, is this all part of Juro's plan to, like, do something with the Aegis system as well? I, I don't know. Fuck. But was that it? Or maybe, maybe it was some other scene that we haven't seen yet. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. People from the future were preparing for the final battle. Those compatible with the inner Lossiter were being gathered in Sector 4. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Hmm. This is actually after the thing with Nenji, too. So, in reality, Nenji actually does know who it is, but he he got away and didn't tell them about it. Actually, now I think about it, didn't he escape from Okino and Takatoshi? Right? I thought they'd be like kind of pissed about that. Like he like got away before they got their answers. I figured that okay, Okino would have confronted him about that. Now I think about it. Kind of surprising he didn't. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos' Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. One guy had his own plan. Oh! Murder everyone who had an inner Lossiter. Yeah! No more signal. He thought that might save the world. Why didn't that work? If it meant I could save my homeland, I would gladly give my life.
but... So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but that's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. The hell? Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. It's not like Sentinel related? The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Dimos. And access three locations at regular intervals. Huh, I didn't actually end up explaining why the killing everybody didn't work. I mean, I guess, granted, it, he didn't manage to kill everybody, so maybe it would have worked, but... One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal control. Wait. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Dimos and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO, universal control. So I guess universal control, like, is probably... It's probably where we are, right? And that's for each of these sectors. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. Maybe. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. Okay. The automated factories in the year 2105. Oh, okay. Okay. Those factories are actually what are producing the kaiju. Okay, so it has to keep that connection. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Dimos. Gotcha. That's where the Sentinels were created, too. Okay, what's the third access? And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Dimos themselves. Is that where um, Inaba is? Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? <laughs> I don't know. It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but yeah, it feels like. I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. I feel like we're look overlooking a lot of things still. Oh, God damn it! Fuck! No more secrets! Well, it's nice to see that Okino is finally talking to him about it. Um, alright. Uh, Tamao Android, so Pursuers! There's the other side of it. He's all kind of just winning a row, I think. Hmm. Alright, what new info we got? Interlocitor. It's unknown who injected the interlocitors into the 15 students. Furthermore, more than 80% of the interlocitor processes are devoted to an unknown function. The decode uses a relative minor portion with the remaining 20%. Huh. I'm not sure exactly what that would be. The decode's function is to maintain a link to one commander and access three locations at regular intervals. Universal control, automated factory in sector one, a satellite in orbit. I don't know, maybe universal control isn't the, the UFO because otherwise, why would they dig down to this UFO at all, right? If they already have a, an attachment to it. Maybe universal control is like the thing in the center. And this this thing is like, I don't know, something else. The control key. Oh, sorry, I forgot Ninji initially was the one that had it, but then it went to Natsuno Manami. Since anyone with an inner loster is a candidate for becoming a commander, it would be pointless to kill whoever's the control key. Another candidate would simply become the next commander. The Daimos avoided the sec avoid the sector with the commander and control key when they attack. This is why Sector 5 was destroyed before Sector 4, which housed the commander. Gotcha. 
Even though Manami has also been kind of jumping around a bit. Although she's always tends to go to places after they get destroyed, right? But again, I don't know exactly when the switch happened. I still am not 100% certain if like when Manami got shot, was that when she got the key? Ninji apparently had it initially, like where did the switch happen? They said it'd be pointless to kill the commander. I think they haven't really had an explanation for why not just kill everybody. Cause I think that maybe could have worked too, but uh, I don't know. But in the end, if, if I mean, you would have to die too, right? That means literally all 15 of them would have to die. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason for it though. Maybe there actually is a reason why that wouldn't work either. But uh, Okino didn't really end up explaining anything. Um, oh, sh oh, fuck. Are you serious? Complete Renya Goto's hypocrisy event. Oh, shit. I actually can't even see the end of Takatoshi's hypocrisy. Wow. Is that even possible? Wait, what? But I can't go any further until I've seen 12. At oh, wait, he's at 80%. He is at 80%. Okay, I was like, wait. Yeah, it's not, it's not that I have to complete them. They have to be at 80%. So, yeah, he's there. He's there. So, I can get... I have him set then for to get Goto's, but that's... Oh, wow, that's really interesting. I actually wouldn't be surprised if there are a few others we run into that end up having that same stipulation where I got to get, like, see a part of Goto's before jumping back. Damn. Well, shit. Well, all right, guys. I think we're going to end things here for now, but, uh... Ooh, we got some good... We gave some good information this episode. Um, we are really... I feel like we are still kind of dancing around it, though, a lot. We still have a lot of characters that are still, like... But just still convinced that this is just time travel. We're already past that shit, all right? Come on, Akino, keep up. But we did learn about like what the kaiju were trying to accomplish, right? And the fact and how this decode of it actually works. But I still got to figure out what the universal control is, what the fucking satellite is. That oh, that's right. They said that Kisaragi saw that, right? Something that Kisaragi saw. So maybe that's something we see in her scenario. I may want to go hop back into hers maybe next time. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.